All right, in this video we're going to discuss the alternatives to chlorofluorocarbons in terms of their properties. Now before we get into that, we just want to basically understand why did we choose CFCs in the first place? Well, one of the reasons they can be liquefied at room temperature. They have a low toxicity, a low flammability, and a lack of reactivity. So with all of that, it's, it seemed like it would be a pretty safe option until it ended up in the environment. So you can envision a chlorofluorocarbon as something like this, where you have fluorines and chlorines attached. It doesn't have to be one carbon. It can be more, multiple. So what are the, the alternatives to this since it depletes the ozone? Um, other ones are hydrocarbons, fluorocarbons, or hydrofluorocarbons. So what you'll notice here is that the idea is there's no more chlorines. And uh, in HL, you'll really learn why that is. Um, but basically, your, your underlying concept is um, the chlorine uh, atoms, if they're inside, um, they're bad because they can um, cause the depletion in a, in a reaction. So here we can visualize a, um, a chloro, or sorry, a fluorocarbon like that, and a hydrofluorocarbon with the hydrogens in it. And hydrocarbons would just have all hydrogens. And those are like our alkanes that we've looked at. So why, you know, or these sort of alternatives we have, what's the advantage, disadvantage? Well, the advantage of all of these is that there's no weak C uh, carbon chlor uh, chlorine bond. So fluoride is, or fluorine is more electronegative. This is a stronger bond. So it, when the UV hits it, um, it's not as likely to break it uh, like the chlorine uh, carbon bond in the chlorofluorocarbons. Um, it's not ozone depleting because there is no chlorine, and the HLs will learn that a bit more later. Uh, does not release chlorine atoms and thus does not deplete the ozone. So that's sort of saying a similar thing. Uh, the disadvantage uh, is that these tend to be more flammable, especially if you go with the hydrocarbons. Uh, and most of these end up being uh, greenhouse gases. And we've looked at how like methane, for example, is a greenhouse gas. And that's uh, again related to what it absorbs, in this case infrared, um, instead of UV. And uh, it also contributes then to climate change since it is a greenhouse gas.